What's good, YouTube land? Cyber Collector here, and look at my collection of Predacons. They were really lacking. All I have is Megatron and Tarantulas and Waspinator. So, how about we start with Scorponok? Yeah, this is his original toy, not the G1 character, but the Beast Wars character. Um, he's got a bit of a limp arm, but here he is in his scorpion mode. He's quite a uh, different color than in the show. In the show, he was more purple, but there is some. This off kind of bluish purple along with this piece where, unfortunately, this piece is broken. It's not supposed to do that. Which is unfortunate, but it doesn't affect the toy that much. There we go. Yep. There's his main gimmicks going off. This guy's really all about the gimmick. And his gimmicks... They're really unfortunate. They're spring. They're mostly spring loaded. And I'm getting that I got this guy second hand. So unfortunately, he isn't in the best condition. But let's take a look what we do have. That face <laughs> um, looks kind of squished. Really, doesn't look that good. It doesn't help that it's also the robot mode feet. Spoiler alert. But uh, I'm I can't remember what Scorponok actually did in the show other than have an really unsatisfactory death. Like he just got kind of pushed into lava with a uh, what's his name? God damn it. One of my issues with this guy, this claw is spring loaded and there's no tab, there's no peg anymore holding the claw in place. It's kind of just holding on for dear life. But... Uh, Inferno. Yeah, Inferno. The, uh, the ant. But he's got these, uh, four, these two sets of four creepy red legs which do have a joint along with his tail which is an entire gimmick setup straight to do this you can do it here it's basically to sting like you can do it. this is the transformation joint but there's this little piece right here to Huh, huh, huh. Like this piece is on a hinge, like it's all on a series of double hinges to go all the way forward and not really, oh, well, kind of hit something. But it works decently. You can actually lock it in. How did I do, you yeah. Kind of yeah. articulation wise, he's got no, yeah, hold this close. A swivel right here, swivel right here, an elbow joint, uh, a, f a, head, a, f a head joint to go forward up, and his tail swivels right here. Not a lot of articulation, but it's like it's Beast Wars. There really wasn't a lot. Like there were some toys with good articulation, but this guy has decent for what he is, at least in this mode. So gimmick. First off, this claw comes out and transforms into 
A deadly bee weapon. Yeah, it turns into a bee. Bee sickly. That was bad. You can take a look at the face. The only really thing that says it's a B is the yellow striping, but it's really unfortunate that there was a peg holding that together, but it's obviously snapped off because this plastic is very thin and basically translucent. But that also leaves him with this half a hand with a launcher butt on it. Because that was his favorite thing in uh, the show. That I remember uh, Scorponok transforming by snapping his claws together. In this hand, you have a gun. So, like, there are two... There's a nice texture to it, and this claw actually can hinge all the way up. But if you do the top one, it activates the gimmick. You have to push it. <laughs> like that. So you can see the missile launcher right there. You can actually like completely open his claw. They actually they hit my dresser and one of them landed all the way back. So they're strong. It's a strong mechanism that survived the years. But uh let's get down to it. Scorpionok! Terrorize! So first off, unpeg the legs. Rotate this all the way around. You can, well, you can't close these yet. But rotate all the way around, folding the hips down until you come to this piece. Snap it there. It pegs into the back. Then you can fold these in. Rotate the tail. Uh, fold the feet. Fold the beast head back, fold the uh, robot mode foot forward, or do it the other way. Fold the arms down. And then reveal his robot mode face. And there you have Scorpionok in his robot mode. Very simple, very straight to the point. I kind of like the transformation. Face sculpt. It is just a face. It's not a proper head because there's a... The Beast Wars Basics did the alien beast mask thing. I don't mind it on this one. But as you can see, there's... Ooh, nothing, nothing back there. He doesn't have a brain. Kind of fitting for a generic minion like a Scorpionok. I mean, I don't mean generic, but get a good shot of his face. I don't think that's accurate, but again, I haven't watched Beast Wars in forever. I've looked at shots, but let me actually go back. I was on the wrong screen. I was on. I didn't do... It doesn't matter. Eh. It's kind of missing some paint, but it's kind of got the idea down. There's a Generations. Highly inaccurate, yeah. It's a bee drone. Oh, this is, yeah. Ah! I, I fired again. This is the top part of the claw. 
which triggers the missile. Yeah, the mutant head. Okay. Without noble team. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they, they did the toys before the show, and then they didn't base the show models on the toys. And he was more charcoal gray than purple. <coughs> it's, this mold was apparently made, made a guy, oh god, called Sandstorm. And double punch? Oh. Oh, uh, oh, God. And generations, uh, what? It's not Scorp. Oh, God. Oh god, they they repainted a scamper from the Thrilling 30 into Oh god, no. Why would you turn Scorponok into a generic car? Oh no. Uh, I can see it. The looking at the animation model, I can kind of see purple or charcoal gray. Eh. It's kind of take it or leave it. But looking at his face, he does have the gold, vi the yellow visor, and the sort of gray face. But like this head is definitely missing detail. So articulation in this mode, uh, his head can swivel. It's I think it's on a uh, it's on a ball joint connection, but this yep, it's on a ball joint, on a stem, and comes very comes easily unpegged from his torso. I'm gonna most likely display him in beast mode, because as we'll see in a second. Some of his joints aren't haven't held up. This obviously can still move. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Or just five points. These can still move. He's got articulation in the shoulder, inward elbow. And a swivel right here. The same thing on this side. Elbow and swivel. They are, the hips are new. They're ball jointed. And, well, yeah. They can go out that far. Actually, they can go out kind of farther. But you're, you also start, like, undoing the transformation. But, you, yep. <laughs> you just falls to bits that's accurate at least his knee he's got a knee no uh doesn't really feel like he's got a thigh swivel and he's got that for a foot along with his b drone right here which folds up hopefully i can get it into his claw Come on, stay, 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 stay. There we go. That'll stay for now. But he's got giant disproportionate hands. <laughs> he's 
I got him for the character, because it's frickin' Scorpinock. Like, come on. Frontline Predacon. He doesn't have a lot of Moldean detail, but he does have bumps everywhere and occasional events and stuff. Like, there hasn't been a proper classics version of Scorpinock as a scorpion. So, like, I had to get something to represent the character. And for what it's worth, I think it's still a decent toy. It doesn't quite have as much articulation, and it could easily do the gimmick, this gimmick better nowadays. Like, I would fold it, like, up and stuff, and... Because it just kind of looks like a giant ponytail. Like, in this mode, it looks like, yeah, a ponytail. But... Um, if you're if you're a big Beast Wars fan and you're still looking, like if you're looking to get into collecting Beast Wars, he's pro he's a solid choice. But if you're not into beasts, he's probably an easy skip, I imagine, because he's not readily available on shelves. Right, like they're not reissuing this guy in a more accurate color scheme, although they they've already done that long ago. But that's not the point. It's it's old, and it's brilliant. That's why you, you get into it. But get one that hasn't been played with as much, and yet yeah, you won't have that happening. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, keep it weird. Bye.